This is the second section of chapter three on algorithms and graphs. And this section is on Prim's algorithm. Okay, so this is the algorithm. You can start at any vertex. You don't have to um, put anything in order like you would with Criscoll's algorithm. Then we're gonna choose the edge with the lowest weight to join a vertex not yet in the tree. Now we may find this uh, edge with the lowest weight uh, connected to any of the vertices which are already in the tree. You'll see this in a moment. And we basically repeat this last step until all the vertices from our graph are in the tree. So we're gonna use Prim's algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree for this network here. List the arcs in the order in which you add them to your tree. Now, since C is on the left, I'm going to start at vertex C. Right, and then what I'm looking for vertex C, just this vertex at the moment, is what's the lowest weight edge? And that's going to be this one here, CD. So this edge here is gonna get added to my um, spanning tree. So I'll just put CD and eight. So that's the first one that I've added. Right, so now I can look at either vertex C or vertex D, and I want to choose the lowest weighted vertex or edge that's coming out of C or D. So now, because I've got these two in my tree, I can choose either one. Now out of C and D, this is the lowest weight edge here, which is nine. So I'm going to add this one. Um, so that is DA, I'm adding second, which has a weight of nine. So now I've got three choices, three places to look at to find the lowest weight. Well, C has weights of 10 and 12. A has weights of eight and nine. D has weight of 14. So the lowest weight, it, lowest weighted edge out of all of these three is this one, A to F. So I'm gonna add that to my spanning tree. So um, my third one here is A, F which is weighted eight. So now I've got four points to look at the edges. And out of those four points, the lowest weight comes out of A, it's nine. So I'll add that to my tree. So I'm adding edge AB, which is nine. Now there's only one vertex that's not, that's not in the tree yet, and that's this one. And out of all of these vertices, the one that has the lowest weight to go to E is this one, the 11. So I can put down, that's the last edge that I'm adding, AE, which has weight 11. So now I can write down the total weight of this minimum spanning tree, of minimum spanning tree. So that will be eight plus nine, plus eight plus nine, so let's just do that, plus 11. So that gives a weight of 45. Okay, so you should now be able to do exercise 3B on pages 56 to 57. Here's a quick recap of the algorithm. So maybe just something that, um, highlights the difference between these two algorithms, Prim's and Criscoll's algorithm. So with Criscoll's, for example, it can jump around as we construct the uh, minimum spanning tree, whereas P Prim's grows. You'll always have edges connected to previous edges. You won't have edges just floating around, and not connected to anything. With Criscoll's, we always start at the lowest weighted edge. So we have to put the, the, the edges in order, ascending order first. With Prim's, we don't need to do that. We can start at any vertex.